All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay recording this with the Z Fold 2 just to make everybody mad because I'm recording 5x4. <laughs> uh, it's your man Jay. So the ZV1 is a camera that um, plenty of people were interested in when it first came out, but then they saw the price and they were totally deterred by it and said, no, it's not worth it. But again, that mentality of saying something's worth something or not worth something before you use it is kind of crazy. So this is a content creator's camera is what Sony marketed it as. Uh, and it actually is. Uh, if you got the, now you don't have to get this. This was an additional 150 bucks. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice, but there are plenty of other tripods you can get. Uh, but this one is just a match to this cam It will work with any Sony camera, really. But uh, matching it with this, this is how they kind of pushed it out there. And it's adjustable. And, you know, it's, it's supposed to be really nice uh, combination with this camera. And the truth is, it is a nice combination. But you don't have to buy that. The camera alone will run you about 750 I think, current price. So be sure to check that out. I do have a ceremonic mic here I got from B&H back when I got this. Uh, this was $25 or something like that. Check the current pricing. Uh, this is a very nice mic, and it is very hard to come by. Uh, tons of people want this mic, but at one point, it was just selling out. And when I bought it, it actually had sold out. And I was like, wow, that thing sold out right after I bought it. So, um, yeah, the mic, the tripod, you can totally do any mic and tripod you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, you'll be fine. Now, the camera itself, this is just my setup that I use when I'm out vlogging, but when I'm not vlogging, I just have this on this tripod that I'm using for overhead shots, and I'll talk about that too. Um, so the camera is the size of a point-and-shoot camera with mirrorless camera uh, capabilities. It has a one-inch sensor, uh, Bionics X image processing, records in 4K. It's got, actually, it's got a three microphone array in here. But and it's got a windscreen. It comes in a box, too, that goes over this. It was pretty cool that they did that. But I don't use that. Um, but uh, the camera, the, the microphones themselves, they sound okay. Uh, they're they're not going to wow you. So you always need to get an external audio when, think, when you're doing things like that. So it's a 20.1 mega, 20 megapixel sensor on here. Uh, and it's, you know, all that techie stuff is cool to read off to you, but... I'm a real world user, so how is the the camera actually for real world use? Well, this is, and I wanna talk about that overhead shot video or just vlogging period. This is a content creator's camera. This camera has been fantastic. And I think the number one thing I've gotten from people asking about the camera is, is it good for top-down YouTube video? And the quick answer is, oh yeah, it totally is. Top-down YouTube shots are fantastic. I recently shot um, the Z Fold 2 Android um, update uh, with this device. Uh, and I just used my ceremonic mic and I put it to this tripod. I didn't, I didn't use this tripod, but we'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, but overall, using the device for YouTube, it's where it's at. Uh, again, the Zeiss lens, the, 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 the quality of the photos and videos that comes from here is absolutely great, man. I think if you're going to vlog with this, you'll be totally happy with it. Now, you can put this, now this is how they're pitching it to you right here. Uh, to do it like this. This is actually really cool, I will admit. Uh, this stand right here um, swivels around and you know you can uh, press this button on the front and then boom, you can twist it all around, you can adjust it, however you're gonna adjust it, um, yeah. But you press that button and then you adjust it how you're gonna adjust it. That's what you do. And then you can actually twist it, uh, put it how you're gonna put it. I don't know why you would put it way back like that, but this this is the versatility of this um, actual um, tripod. And then if you're gonna vlog, you turn it towards you and you get that one angle like this where you're looking up down. It kind of looks like you're looking down at the camera. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. But you know, nonetheless, for video, this is great. For photos, this is great. Uh, the only negative that I still have is when it comes time to get your audio or videos off your content off the camera, you have to remove this tripod if you're using this particular tripod because it is blocked 
the door is blocked by this tripod. And so that's that's a huge down downfall for the creation of this, this camera. It's on the bottom because they promote it with this tripod uh, and you know it's just not a good look. So uh, inputs on here are really nice. You have HDMI and you have a multi-purpose uh, slot right there, which is basically your um, charging or transfer. And then the mic. The reason I went with this mic is because it's super small, and it's it can go in so many different directions, man. I mean, this is so nice right here. It's really nice, super nice. I, I really like that. So let's crack open the software here. Let's show you the software. There's some settings. Uh, I, again, I have it turned on this easy format, um, and I have it like this on my Sony as well. But the settings are totally adjustable in here you can do whatever you want to do in here all day long if you're i'm not a, a camera buff i don't know everything about cameras i recently just switched to the sony ecosystem a year ago i think it was i think it was a year ago uh the canon sl3 um is my last canon camera this is the ultra wide 18 10 18 uh on here but this is my, this ecosystem is super user friendly right here. I mean, really user friendly. You would love Canon's ecosystem and I always recommend Canon to people. Uh, but I do have, where's my Sony, Sony A6100 at? My A6100 with my Sigma lens. This is predominantly my blogging setup for front facing shots. If I want to get a nice portrait effect uh, on here, Sony. I switched over to the Sony ecosystem last year, sometime. I don't even remember when, uh, but it was in 2020. I know. But I have uh, my Sony's. They're just the same. I don't do anything fancy with them. I have them all with the easy format like this. This is what I do. Uh, I set it the way I want it, and I leave it there. I don't mess around with it. Um, I created one profile, I believe, uh, and that's it. Uh, but if you don't want to spend money on things on a bunch of different cameras, you definitely don't have to. Uh, but because this camera pretty much is the same software as my Sony um, A6100, as a matter of fact. And so it's super user friendly, but not as user friendly as a Canon camera. I'll admit that. And also, this isn't touchscreen. It's only touchscreen for autofocus, which is weird. Uh, but every setting you could think of in here... This doesn't have S-Log, if you were wondering about that. Uh, but you can, again, and this isn't for those people who are camera gurus. Uh, but a camera guru could pick this up and really do wonders with it. Uh, they really could. Uh, but I personally feel like if you're a YouTuber, you want to turn a camera on, you want to just start taking photos and videos, this is a great start for you. This thing is awesome. It's 24 millimeters, uh, but it's f1.8. And I just feel like, for the nice portrait shots that you could possibly get, they won't match a Sigma lens or anything like that, but it can in fact um, do very well. The autofocus is really nice. So if you test the autofocus here on the uh, on the um, uh, Z Fold 2 that I'm using, you can see how it focuses fairly fast, but they have what's called product show on here and um, it's really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out the video with this uh, camera right here. Let's do it. All right, now, so this is the ZV-1, and product show is when you put something in front of the camera really fast and it focuses on it really fast. So I'm gonna get the, the Z Fold 2 here. As you can see how quickly it focuses in comparison to the Z Fold 2. Um, it's, I, and if I'm being completely honest, the Z Fold 2 in that particular setting that I was just doing, it was focusing like really fast. So um, holding just that up there, let's grab something else, it's dark. You can see how it's focusing. Let's get something with some kind of neon, here we go. Yeah. That's really fast. And then if I get my glasses, sometimes glasses are hard to focus on. So let's see what happens. Yep, focus on, great. That is the product show feature and the defocus background let me see if i see if i got it i think i got it turned on do not laugh at me for having to check that uh, but 
Uh, this is the view that I think a lot of vloggers might like. And if they're showing something, okay, ooh, look at this. The velvet is so dope. And you got this one part of the camera right here. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those things that um, you, you got to use it uh, or you won't feel like it's beneficial to you. And I think that product show is definitely beneficial to a lot of people if you go ahead and, in fact, um, do vlogs and things like that. So I actually prefer this view right here for some reason. I don't know why I like looking at like this towards the camera sometimes, uh, but it's just... Um, this is nice, and I think Sony, and, and this review, folks, this update, remember, I've had this since launch. A lot of people um, might have got this in for review, and then they had to send it back, or they gave, you know, they didn't buy it or whatever, but I actually own this, and I had it since launch, and I'm telling you, it's really good. So my perspective on this is always just a conversation, and then to show you the product, you know what I'm saying? So let's get something like my ring to see if it can focus on. Yeah, it focuses on that pretty fast. This is just this is just a, a dope. This is just a sick camera. YouTube vlogs, YouTube top-down shots, everything you would want in a camera built all into one. So you've got fast autofocus, you have blurred background if you want it. It's dope. And then if I want to pick this up, I can vlog just like this. Sorry about the shaky cam. But the background, let me turn off background defocus. So now it's set to clear. And now it's defocused. So while that's not the best, um, you know, it's it's definitely doable. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's good depending on what the situation is. Where I've learned that it, it does the best is when things are really far away. So like I, my first videos I did with this, I was I was outside, you know what I'm saying, showing you the cameras, the defocus, and the blur from the trees, it was just beautiful, man. It was so sick. And I think it does, this camera does really good outside. But for top-down shots, you don't even need defocus. It is fantastic. Again, I shot my last Samsung Z Fold 2 video with this camera on a top-down shot, and it is banging. So let's talk about the, um, I'm gonna actually put this on the tripod and do the top-down shot of the uh, tripod that I'm using on it right now. So we're really gonna close it out with, with this ZV-1 camera on a top-down shot. Let's get it. All right, so finishing off this video about this tripod in a top-down shot from the ZV-1. So this tripod itself, I actually started the video, as you can see the light is on right there, sync this once to your camera and you don't have to do it again. I hit record there, let's lock it. I hit record uh, from this section right here for movie. Now this is why I think this is super dope right here. Um, you got movie on this side and you've got photo on this side and you've got your background blur is that C1 right there and you just get a shortcut to it on the remote right here when you're recording with it. Now, I can actually control this. Oh, let me unlock it. I can control see, the lock button also is so you don't accidentally turn something off. But you can actually control it like this from the, from this remote and I think that is so dope. That is just dope. So let's get back out. But this is how I use this. I actually would have the camera on the tripod and I would have this off to the side starting and stopping my video when I'm doing a top-down shot. This is a good example of the top-down shot with the ceremonic microphone shooting something. Again, this tripod is actually pretty nice. Um, it's, it's a little overpriced, it's 150 bucks. At least it was when I initially did it. Uh, but I can tell you that if you're into vlogging just to keep it all sony you know what i mean so you know you won't have any problems plus you can control your camera from this i would just get this i i, I don't i'm not going to tell you it's worth it for you to get it but for me it's totally worth it because i wanted to keep it all sony when i said i went sony i went sony i decided to go all the way in uh with it so um yeah i was recording the first part of this video with the z fold uh, two here it is right here. This is how I shot that video with this camera So it gives you some sense of this is what it's gonna be like if you do a top-down shot now I do have artificial lighting. I have like a oh, What is that about a 200 shot or is 200 bulb LED on, on, on this side up here? And then I have just one LED ring light over here and the LED ring light is just so I can have balance out the white light in the room uh, but nonetheless get your lighting right you know what I'm saying? Get your lighting right, um, get your microphone right, 
and the ZV-1 uh, will work for you. I think it's I think it's a great camera and I think it's totally worth it if you're going to use it for YouTube or vlogs or anything like that. It is totally worth it, folks. So you're talking to somebody who's been using it since day one, literally have been using it since day one in, in, in conjunction with the other two cameras. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I use the Canon still, but you guys know the, the really strong portrait effect is coming from the Sigma lens on my A6100. So there it is, man. I wanted to finish it out with a real top-down shot video from the uh, ZV-1. Uh, just bring something else in here to show you different uh, things on camera here. See, if you're shooting a video, it's my Pixel. If you're shooting a video, you just, well, yeah, and in comparison, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, yeah, this is what it is. And I think that just, yeah, this is what you get. This is the quality you could possibly get. I think the quality is fantastic. You might not think so, but I do. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. The ZV-1 is the truth. Take care. Let me stop it with this. Oh, got to unlock it. Now we can stop it.